Hi, welcome to Chats with Flo. I give self-development advice for your everyday life. Today's topic, nine things I wish I could have told my younger self. I just celebrated another birthday on April the 11th of this year. And I can honestly say that I have learned so much about myself and I have grown so much within the last 10 years. And to be honest, I can also say that my growth came from the different things that I've been through within these last couple of years. And now I can say that I am better, I am stronger, and I'm thankful for the things that I went through. In this video, I'm going to share nine things that I wish I would have known years ago that I know now. And I'm hoping that some of the things that I have learned will also help you as well. So make sure you stick around and watch the full video. There is beauty in trials. If God allowed you to go through it, you can handle it. There's always a lesson to be learned. Number two, don't set limits. Dream big. Use all of your talents and your gifts. Use them with all of your might. They will create opportunities for you. Sometime in life, we don't really pay attention to our talents or to our gifts. And, and we miss out on a lot because we don't really think much of it. But I have learned to use my talents, use my gifts. They will bring you before important people and they will also help you to grow. Number three, believe in yourself. You can achieve anything. What you need is already inside of you. Believe that you can and you will. Number four, listen to your intuition. Pay attention. Don't be anxious for anything. The still small voice that you hear is actually God talking to you. Trust your gut. Number five, do what scares you. That's how you will grow and develop new skills. The things that actually scares you are things that you should do. Number six, happiness is whatever that makes you happy. Laughter family, setting goals and achieving them, encouraging others, using your voice, doing God's will. Number seven, you don't need permission. Do what you want to do. Be who you want to be. I can remember uh, when I was going to college, uh, I was in my late 20s when I started college and I can remember um, changing my major a couple of times and the reason why I would change it because someone would tell me, oh, you're not gonna find a job in that particular area or you should do such and such. So I end up changing my major a couple of times and now when I think about it, I'm like, I should have stuck to my gut and just go to college for what I felt like I needed to go for. Number eight, be yourself. God won't be able to fully use you unless you are being yourself. The only way that you are going to fully be able to help others is by just being yourself. Don't resent your personality. God made you the way that you are. Stay quiet. You will use your voice when it's time. Quietness is a strength. By you being calm and quiet, you are able to think logical when other people panic. You are more than enough. Number nine, trust God. Wait on him. He knows what's best for you. God will bring you out if you trust him. He will replace what you thought you lost. He will give you more than what you had. Things will work out in your favor. God will heal your heart and he will give you beauty for your ashes. He will restore your soul. 
And if you can relate to any of the nine things that I named, leave me a comment at the bottom and let me know which one. Thank you for tuning in to Chats with Flo. Have an awesome day. Bye.